So life is sweet. So we didn't make lemonade out of lemons, but we made cookies out of chocolate chips and flour and brown sugar and lots of butter. <laughs> the kids helped. Today's our 15th, 15th wedding anniversary. We've been married 15 years today. And we are in quarantine, so we want to talk to you a little bit about how that is going mm -hmm. and how business is going. And um, also just tell you about us a little bit because we realized that when we started Photo Bosses, we had friends who knew who we were, but not everyone knows who we are. And um, not everyone knows that we do photography and we've been photographers. So we wanted to just introduce our business and how we became photo bosses. Uh, how old were we when we first met? <laughs> Barnett Bunch. Barnett Bunch. So before we were Barnett Bunch, I was 17, she was 15. Yeah. We met at a football game. I gave her my pager number. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dating. Yeah. I'm dating how long we've been together. He, li I gave her my he pager likes number. to say that part of the story. I will say that the highlight of my evening was plaid pants. That's all. I like plaid pants. Mm -hmm. Hey, but she paged me. I paged him because mm -hmm. my mom had always said that it would look desperate if you would call a boy. So you weren't supposed to call them. Um, so I figured, well, I could page him and that would, that'd be okay because then he had the choice mm -hmm. <laughs> to call me back or not. So that's how that all happened. Yep. She paged me 911. <laughs> 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 not really. I don't think that was exactly no. it. No, it wasn't. But, yeah. Yeah. So, um, we then dated for six years. I went to college. I now have a biology degree that I do not use other than to teach my kids. I will say that it has helped me since we homeschool now um, to teach them some of the math um, and then obviously some of the science. Um, Gabriel likes science the most, so that's pretty cool. Um, and then after I came home from college, we got married and um, that was in 2005. So we've been together 21 years. Um, okay, so well, we got married, waited a few years, and then we had a kid. Mm -hmm. You we said we were having zero children. We were gonna have married. zero children, um, but then my, my niece was super cute, and so I convinced Josh to have one kid. And when we had Gabriel, I, I like this story, he, um, we were coming home from the hospital and we had one car seat in the back and we were just overjoyed parents, even though this child screamed all the time. If you hit him with that. Like, he wasn't happy at all. Like he screamed all the time. He was a terrible baby. He was a terrible child. Like I, <laughs> I'm glad that we had good ones after him. But anyway, um, we thought he was amazing and wonderful and he is now, but, um, at the time, we were just so in love. We didn't know that a love like this existed. And Josh nope. looked back and he was like, how many car seats can fit in the back of the car? So. Just future planning. I'm not future. much of a planner, but I was like, well. He was ready yeah. for some more babies. So. Um, you could put some like boxing peanuts in the back and just throw a couple of them back there. <laughs> and bounce around. So we had, a, we had Gabriel and then we had another one yep. and everyone was cool with that because we had our boy and a girl and then we had another one josiah and everyone started to get a little like hmm. Make you <laughs> and then Make we you thought well 
My since, mom keeps asking, still asks. Still asks. Do we, I have another one? But since we have, we had three, we were like, well, we could totally do four. Mm -hmm. um, and then the fourth is Hannah Banana. Hannah Banana. She is passionate about life, and so I think we are done with her. Um, we're not done with her. We're done with kid. We're done with having more children. Yeah, I think we'll. Unless keep, something happens. I think we'll keep her. Guess. from our favorite Memory movie or exchanges. if anyone knows what movie I just quoted comment down below um, I, think we'll keep her. I think we'll keep her what movie right. so how did we get into photo bosses you are not her favorite person so Sarah's father my father-in-law does has been doing photography for a long time uh, very long time and when we got married we were working with him oh. actually before we got married we were working with your dad yeah so it's been over 15 years we've been in photography mm -hmm. um, well I started just kind of um, emailing people and uh, following him around posing people uh, I would search the internet for poses and then pose people so that's kind of how I started and then I was following him around and he would tell me settings and um, how to do this or that and basically the main thing that I needed to learn was the settings so um, taught me manual mode just by following him around and then saying the settings from room to room and eventually I just I learned the settings and now anytime I walk into any room the f really the first thing that pops into my head is I would shoot this room at this ISO, this aperture, this shutter speed with this amount of flash and it's just second. I just, I've learned to look for the light. So that's how, um, that's how the photography all began. Yeah, I was in the same boat. Yeah, we were living, we lived with her parents for a little while, um, six months or so before we bought our first house. So I was doing photography, helping him out. Um, bought my own gear. I was working at AT and T, um, so it was just kind of extra money and income for us to be able to uh, afford to live on our own and move out and all that fun stuff. Mm -hmm. And kind of grew from there. And then, so I guess I don't know. Three years ago, I really started branching out with photography, yeah. um, and. So I guess YouTube about the same time. For 2016. Mm -hmm. 2016. So he started um, combining his passion of motorcycles and photography at the track. So um, the photography that I uh, I do a lot now is at the racetrack, and I had a friend that was doing photography at the racetrack, and he was moving and said, "Hey, I know you do photography." I'm going to leave a void. You want to step in. And so in 2016, he left in 2015. 2016, I stepped in um, a brand new world and started, um, started my own business, Apex Pro Photo. And it's been going great ever since. I started working with uh, one track and one organization. And in a very short time, three years, going on four now, um, I shoot at several different tracks. Um, and work with several different organizations uh, as Apex Pro Photo. That's my company. I still work under Carolina Media Star. I shoot weddings um, on a fairly regular basis. Uh, yeah. We've even brought, and everyone's like, how do you work with kids? And we'll get into that in another video, but I will tell you that there have been times where I've brought my baby to a bridal session or an engagement session and I can also tell you that the mothers of the brides and even the dads too really loved having the babies there so yeah. don't let things like that hinder you but again we'll get into that another day full-blown pregnant at the wedding like yeah I could go any minute and my last the wedding. wedding I I delivered it was a friend's wedding so I went I mapped out the hospital but I delivered Elizabeth Two days? Two days after yeah. that, so, yeah. Crazy. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, working with kids, all that. Um, I've shot weddings, bridals, engagements, 
And then um, over the past, I don't know, two years, two years ish, I had been watching learning tutorials online. That's kind of why this was such a passion for us too, because I had, that's how I really grew and expanded my photography and learning um, from YouTube, from Creative Live, um, just soaking in as much information as I possibly could. Don't you do real so, estate? Yeah, I do real, real estate, estate photography yeah, real estate. too. Um, and my sister got me into real estate photography. It's kind of cool because we are all entrepreneurs. We all started our own businesses. Well, uh, my sister started a real estate photography and then she got pregnant with twins. And when she got pregnant with twins, she asked me to step into real estate photography. So um, towards the end of her pregnancy, I was like, okay, sure. At first I was like, no, I really don't like houses. Like I just, I just didn't really think, I thought it was a little boring, used to weddings, used to that fast yeah. pace. And, um, but then once I started doing real estate, I, I really started to enjoy it. And now um, when people ask me like, you do all these things, what, it, what is your favorite? And I, I like to say houses because houses don't talk back. Houses don't talk back. <laughs> so now um, I'm able to combine all of our avenues and ventures in photography um, into a learning experience, and that's how, that's kind of how Photo Boss has started. That we can actually teach people um, through the many, many years of not only knowledge but experience that we've had, and I, I really think that's one yeah. of the most important parts because you can know it all and you can practice and all that but once you start working with clients it's it gets challenging there's there's quite a few challenges yeah. and hurdles just like this and i did just want to mention um covid19 and the quarantine that we're on and the weddings that have been canceled um for the next eight weeks and possibly even more the weddings have been canceled and that has hurt tremendously. Like it, it's taken up a lot of time and financial resources. So we are all in that same um, boat together. Luckily, oh, and you've had some track events yeah, um, canceled. My next three events are canceled. So yeah. Um. Luckily, we have um, actually four events. Yeah. We have resources saved. Um. So. We'll be all right. We're blessed yeah. in that area for sure. Um, and it's not really killing us since we homeschool anyway uh, to be home with the kids. It's pretty much life as normal. Status quo. Yeah. I, there hasn't, we haven't really skipped a beat in that area. Mm -hmm. um, so Except that's, for toilet paper if we need that. We are fine with toilet paper too. So y'all don't have to drop it off at the house. <laughs> Um, luckily for me, um, I do shoot houses and so I have some realtors who are still like showing houses and I'm still able to shoot the houses and I can also still do headshots, um, and some portraits as well. Cause I can stand outside at a distance. We're making sure that we still practice the social distancing. Um, and yeah, so that's how we're doing. Still doing some portraits, just keeping our distance and keeping it limited, the number of people that we're around. Yeah. Uh, so 15 years married, 21 years together, and still going strong. Um, can't imagine doing life without <laughs> her. I thought you were looking for confirmation. Nope, I'm not. <laughs> but uh, we appreciate everyone uh, who has subscribed like their uh, page on Facebook and just follow along on our journey. Uh, we're not perfect and we're learning as we continue to do this, but we appreciate y'all. Uh, and uh, next week or the next video, maybe before next week, we'll be on ISO, ISO, however you want to say it. And stay tuned for that. It'll be awesome. But leave us a comment below if you've been in a relationship with your high school sweetheart or something like that. Tell us about it. And don't forget to subscribe for our next video and videos that will be coming out, coming down the pipe. And uh, stay safe. And thanks, everybody, for all you do. Photo Boss is out.
And so I learned portraits, kids, um, newborns. So I'd just practice on other people's newborns. I would give them free photos, but um, so started doing that. Um, you gonna eat, will you hear my stomach? I heard your stomach. I know. I'm saying, will the video hear my stomach? I don't know, but this is probably going to be in a video now. I so. have such a loud stomach. It's so loud. Our cat is in the floor. Here, I'm going to take a picture. <laughs> i got to take a picture of her. She's so stupid. This is going to be kind of boring with all the talking. That's okay. Okay. I, mean, I don't know. The cat looks so dumb looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> He's got ADD. For real. Worried about the cat. Well, she's like, look at her. <laughs> okay, so is that it? Yep. <laughs>